If you missed the era of classic survival horror with tank style controls, I got a game for you. It's called Ghost Said Dawn. And this game by Blue and Red Games is one of my all time favorite games of the year. Let's talk about it. So if you're ready to dive into Ghost of Dawn by Blue and Red Games, you're in for a delightful fright night. It's like stepping into a time capsule, drawing inspiration from the golden age of survival horror games. Think fixed camera angles, a spooky as hell old building, and oh, don't even get me started on the limited inventory space. You'll step into the shoes of Ben Ohara, a Japanese-American detective battling past traumas from his service in World War II. Look, the dude's on a mission. He's probing into the mysterious vanishing of Emi Kosuke, last seen at the now abandoned Pines Hotel. The story's dripping with noir vibes, and honestly, combining noir with old school horror is like mixing peanut butter and jelly. It's just perfect. Kudos to Blue and Red Games. They nailed the ambience. Pines Hotel is the epitome of airy. We've got dramatic shadows, art deco statues peeking around every corner, and moonlight casting a spell through old grubby windows. And let's not forget the smooth jazz serenading in the background. Something Mr. Angelo Baldamente would be proud of. Sipped straight away from the 1920s speakeasy. The environment of a game like this needs soul. And look, let me tell you, Pines Hotel's got personality in spades. Sure. It's nostalgic, aesthetic, somewhat clashes with the anime as characters, but those little critters grew on me. They are vibrant and also lively, and the camera angles? Man, Ghost of Dawn doesn't just settle with slapping the camera in a corner. No siree, the way it's positioned gives you sneak peeks into hidden items, provides direction, and sometimes even keeps you in suspense by withholding just the right amount of info. It's a work of art. The resource management game is strong here. Imagine tiptoeing through Pines Hotel, unlocking mysteries, and bumping into a ghost or two. It's like an intricate dance, and just when you think you've got the rhythm, the game throws in a curveball with its find a key, unlock a room loop. It might be repetitive to some, but look, hang tight. There are some twists and turns down the line. Look, what's a haunted hotel without a spectral residence? As Ben, you'll fend off these etherworld folks, from the standard floating ones that you've seen in countless Japanese movies to creepers crawling on all fours. Keep those pills and smokes handy. And look, you gotta love the noir touch. Because these ghosts don't just play, they slash your health by simply glancing your way. Look, I'm all for games that don't spoon feed players, and Ghost at Dawn wears its tough love badge with pride. No manual saves here, folks. If you flunk too many times, well, let's just say the game has a cheeky surprise for you waiting. However, it's not all rainbows. Sometimes the game is a bit too punishing. Unpredictable ghost appearances and surprise attacks can be thrilling, but not when they lead to a reset. And Ben? Oh, look, for a character with such a rich backstory, he felt a tad too distant for my liking. And look, wrapping everything up, to all my old school horror aficionados, Ghost of Dawn is like a love letter pinned with spooky ink. The game captures the essence of classics while sprinkling its own flavor. Be it through voice acted notes or innovative inventory systems like the dumb waiter touch, but a few rough edges here and there, especially with the permadeath system, left me craving a tad more. Still, if you're a diehard fan of the genre, give this game a whirl. And with that being said, that's the review for Ghost of Dawn. Again, thank you to Blue and Red Games for the review copy. I've been playing this on my ROG Ally as well as my Steam Deck, and I've had absolutely no issues running this game whatsoever. But what do you guys think? Is this a game that you're looking at picking up yourself? Have you played it already? Whatever your thoughts are, let's go ahead and get the conversation going in the comment section down below. And with that being said, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Stay safe, be blessed, have aloha, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.